Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Pan here, bringing y'all another tutorial video. Today, I'm going to be showing y'all how to do uh, court images and court text. Basically, I'm going to teach you guys how to replace the court with whatever you want. It's really simple, and it only takes like two effects to do the thing that I'm showing you. And it's just, it's super simple. So, first things first, to do this, it, you want one color that kind of stands out like cuz like the green stands out it's like you know green screen so what you want to do is you want to type in key light into your effects grab that key light and you want you don't want to put this on adjustment layer you actually want to put this on the clip when you put this on the clip you click the teardrop and then you click the court basically it's going to turn it black and that just means it's transparent and that means you like the wherever this like all this black is is basically you can put anything in now you'd be like to make it green again it's really simple you just go to your screen again and you turn it down to around 50 like 48 to 50 like anywhere like here i'm gonna make it kind of a darker green just so the text shows up a bit better but it still looks like the court after that you grab your text I'm going to type in the name that I'm going to be rebranding to. So, Minty. Alright, so now that you got your font and stuff like that, you got everything chose, you just take this, drag it underneath the clip, and it's on the court. After that, you want to, you know, make the... You don't want to put just a bunch of text layers. So, to actually make a whole, like, animation out of it, you just want to go to your warp perspective and drag that onto the text and then you get the you know you get the lettering all over the court now to actually animate it all you want to do I'm gonna actually turn up this I mean down the zoom distance so the lettering is a little bit bigger actually I'm gonna turn it alright so now you want to click on all of these at the start of your clip of course and you want to drag the marker to wherever you want the animation part to be where you want it so me, I'm going to turn up the swing, and then I'm going to turn up the roll a little bit, and then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to turn up the swing a bit more, and I'm going to turn the roll up a little bit. So it's going to make like a weird like falling effect, well you'll see. That's kind of like how you just like make the spinning letter effect that I done. It's really simple, but I'm also going to show you guys one other thing that you can do with this effect. So, let's say you don't want text, but you want an image. What you can do is you can replace like this whole part with like a circular logo or something like that by doing this. And then you can like add Saber on it so it's like a fire logo. You can do whatever you want, drop anything below it. So, I'm going to drop in my profile pic. And what you do is you just take the picture that you're going to use or the image and you just drop that below it all right see it's kind of like you know not that showing it doesn't show up good basically so i'm gonna do something to fix that i'm gonna bring the picture in a bit more all right so now i'm going to go back to my the main clip and i'm just gonna since it's not showing up real quick, I'm going to just take that and delete. All right. So basically, now I'm just going to turn up the gain. And the image is coming through a lot better. So it's basically like I'm just playing. I changed the court to my profile picture. So yeah. That's basically how you change the court and stuff. Very simple. Uh, you can add Saber around it to make it better, like when you're doing a logo. I will be doing a Saber tutorial soon. I'm not talking about just core Saber. I'm talking about, like, actual Saber effects. Like, if you want to make your guy glow, like, with fire around him, or if you want to make the ball turn on fire when it goes into the goal. Other than that, thanks for watching. Hit that like button if this helps you, and subscribe. See y'all next time.